Okay, yes. So I started recording. When, we were talking about a dev environment to do this, I think. Yes, so to create a dev environment for this, we can give out links to give you a step-by-step -step process of how to properly install Node on Windows, and I also believe on Linux and Mac OS X, or, yeah, with it. Um, on, so you can install Node locally, also install MongoDB locally, and Mongoose, which is a connection client used to connect to MongoDB, so you don't have to do it inside of a command prompt. You can do it in a nice little display. So, but does Namecheap allow, is it a MongoDB database or it's a MySQL database? Uh, you there. can do a SQL database if you want, because also too, I've provided links for how to install and set up um, a MySQL database locally. I sent right. it to, I know for sure I sent it to Jonathan. Um, yeah, I have one. I have to go back. I re did some reconfiguring lately, uh, but we can do, I mean, if it's MySQL, we just need to make sure that we're all working on the one that Ni Namecheap is going to let us use. Yeah, I said Mongo only because that's the stack. That's the one right I know now. how to do too. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's, I don't know documents. I know relational databases, but not documents. Uh, um, I, see. I see. So that's why I was saying SQL. But if you if you know Mongo, then I'm fine with that. because then I Oh, no. I, it's, whatever, it's whatever Namecheap has built in. I think that's okay. what the thing is here. And so if it's, if it's a MySQL database on my and Namecheap, um, then that's then yeah. we're doing we're doing MySQL. Then yeah, uh, we'll do a MySQL database because um, you can't connect Node to MySQL databases. Um, I have a really great cheat sheet that's on GitHub that I can provide also for basic SQL since MySQL databases are just raw SQL, no add-ons or anything like that. There's not a whole lot to actually take in. Um, so yeah, we can provide people resources to set up a stable local dev environment without having to jump through all these crazy hoops. I, I would, uh, not trying to give you work, uh, but since you get this, you get to be DevOps. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I can go ahead. I will go ahead and I mean, we have to, we'll have to make some decisions. I mean, I think that's where I'm trying to be here is kind of the scrum person. You like, scrum master, that's uh, fine. Yeah, scrum, <laughs> I, scrum, I don't hate the master part. I don't dig this master slave shit, right? There's a, no, there's a scrum I'm the scrum master. dude. I'm the scrum dude. Scrum master <laughs> lead. Scrum. Yeah. Lead scrum master dude. Scrum. Uh, but, like, again, uh, I think that we'll be fine with setting up the database, but do we, if, do, we, do we use this as a way moving forward for next month so we can put like small amounts of time in? We're not trying to crush to get this yeah. done in three days. Yeah, so the okay. stack that I was talking about doing was just a, um, a vanilla JavaScript HTML CSS with Express and Node.js and okay. having a MySQL database that's just a vanilla SQL database. Yeah, super basic, because all yeah. we're doing is collecting a few things off the people. Right. And then if we have to make the form some other thing, whether it's an EJS for embedded JavaScript or React or whatever the case may be, we can do that because it's just the form, not the entire site. Because mm -hmm. uh, the entire site can still stay whatever the stack is currently. Yeah, I mean, currently he has. Uh, currently, it's just a static site. That, yeah. That that and that's why I was just hacking that to the the Google Sheets. Yeah. And so, so we which can, is, we can like hook whatever. I mean, we could just build an HTML form. Yeah. Uh, with the submit yeah. button and send it that way. That should be fine. Yeah. Exactly. At this point, well. again, at this point, we're you got two hundred users. We scale is low, you know, we don't need to think that we're going to get, you're going to get 2000 users next month. Yeah, no, we're not going to do any kind of algorithms, no JavaScript algorithms, no crazy complex SQL statements or anything else like that. You could even just normalize, you would, heck, you could probably just not even worry about normalization for right now, but we're not going to do that because of CI and CD and that's not a good design. So. So uh, the, otherwise, the, the, the part of the user story is that we haven't done any digital marketing part. So how did the 200 people find the site, Jonathan? Oh, dude, they, I started the thing like, I started the thing like, dude, the, the, the 200 people, that's small. Like with the build to learn groups, the cohorts, like there's probably like 700 people on, that, that oh, signed okay. up for that already. It's just, it's two different things, but basically I just go across social networks and just be like, hey. I know what you can do. Um, you have emails currently. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to pause recording?
Or do you want to keep going? Uh, I mean, we can pause. Don't show the emails. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Where's, oh, where am I at? Okay. 